welcome to this channel in today's video i'm going to be talking about five reasons why the forex trader fail in the forex market number one reason is wrong psychology a lot of people come into the forest with the mindset to double their money some persons be like um if i can be able to make uh, five figures in a day then i can be profitable it isn't going to be working like that all of the time you have to be able to understand the strategy, your pattern of trading, that is your strategy, before you're able to be able to become profitable. The wrong focus over time is going to be affecting your trading in the long run. Because why? Your money is not really an enough incentive to keep you profitable. You have to be able to focus on what what you're doing you should be able to have a strategy that works for you over time finding your own strategy and loving the process is what keeps you profitable in the forest market you have to love what you're doing you have to derive this passion for forex before you can be able to be what profitable the number two is trading with the trend you always hear some traders tell you the train is your friend. Take an example, this market is actually a bullish one. You don't want to be a buyer here. You don't want to be a seller. Yeah. Because the market flow is up. But I see some folks be like, well, I think this is about to fall. And they jump in here. And guess what? You get stopped out here. You get stopped out here. The market is a bullish one so your focus should be buying because of what price did to get what stopped out so you should be able to follow the trend and know what's happening in the market flow you don't want to trade against the trend most of the traders are winning in the, all their trading 97 percent they are always trend traders because they follow the trend trading where there's consolidation is really a high risky one Someone else will be jumping into this trade and be like, oh, it's going to be a buy, it's going to be a sell, it's going to be a buy, it's going to be a sell. And you get confused at the end of the day. But when you understand that the market flow is up, so you should wait for price to come down and give you an entry here, like what it did here, for you to what? Buy to the upside. The number three strategy is risk management strategy of course you don't want to blow your account just because of few losing trades you really don't want to blow your account because of few losing trades like you get into a trade and you get stopped out because of your risk was high managing risk is one of the paramount things that should not be omitted in forest if you're a trader you should learn how to manage your risk according to the level of what capital I always advise my students to use 2% of their capital in each trade that they enter for each trade, trade entry or each trade entry rather you it's better advisable to use 2% so when you're being stopped out you can really look for a way and get involved again in the market but when you're risk high you're always affected at the end of the day and sometimes you lose confidence in that trade to know if it will play out or not So you should always learn how to what, have a good risk management. Your risk, I always advise students to use uh, 30 pips, um, 10 pips rather, that is what I always use in my entries. And one to three, I hear someone say if I can just have 50 pips stop loss and my target is 20 pips, that's wrong. Going for 20 pips and your risk is 30 pips, that's gambling. That's wrong. Your risk, your reward should always outweigh your risk. Your reward should always outweigh your risk. If you're going for a 1 to 3 or 1 to 2, that's a better one. And number 3 is greed. This is the center of where all problems lie. Traders get greedy after some time. If you hit your target for the day, you should close for that day. You should close for that day. 
if your target is a uh, uh, 50 pips or 100 pips whichever your target is you should close for the day and try and come back the next day because the flow continues the flow continues in as much as the forest market is traded daily some persons still find it hard to control that grid level this is where the problem is initial uh, apply discipline in your grid level so you become profitable in the long run and the next one here is understanding the type of trader that you are what kind of a trader are you i talked about a video where i said um, um five steps to finding your own strategy in forest everyone has a strategy i'm going to be leaving the link below you can check the video out you have to know your strategy in that video I outline steps in finding your own strategy a step-by-step -step guide that will ensure and enable you to be able to find your own strategy in the long run like mine this is what i normally do i always spot liquidity there's liquidity here there's liquidity here so i'm going to start here so i always spot the last other block This is the last order block. So, and the last thing I can do that to cut money to the downside. This is it. This is an entry for me. And where to target? I target you here, here. That is liquidity. If you're here to watch the video where I talk about liquidity, how price run at liquidity, I'm leaving the description below also. You can check out the video. So finding a strategy in forest helps you know your place and disciplining yourself to follow your strategy, waiting for the market to come to that zone where you know you can what create an entry for yourself. So that's all I have to share with you today. So if you come your way again, please.